Hello, my friends. Here I am again <clears throat> in this new video that I haven't been making much lately. And we're going to talk about something different than my usual business in this channel. And specifically, we are going to focus on setting up and learning to use the tablet Wacom 113 and also setting it up, setting your display. And we are going to talk about a certain software that I like to use for this tablet and also how to set it for OBS. So without any further delay, let's get into this. Uh, first, we're going to, you can see that I have my tablet right here. This is the most comfortable possibly position that I could think of. And we are going to turn it on. Now that we turn it on, we're going to find out, sorry, that what is showing right now is a duplicate of my own laptop display. And that's not exactly what we want if we want to um, work in our drawings and at the same time working independently in our computer. So what do we do first? I've been thinking and doing a lot of research about how to solve this problem. And it was a lot simpler. It just required a little thinking. And first we're going to see, <clears throat> as you can see, I have my OBS open and this is my software of choice to do streams and to make videos. Here you have my screen. Oh, sorry. I need to, there you go. Okay. Here you have my, my computer screen. Let's see if, give me a sec. So what we do here, let me, let me make sure that that is showing what I want to show here. What we do here, we go to display settings, take into account that this is Windows 11. Okay. There you go. And we can see here that by default, after we connect uh, our drawing tablet, in this guy, in this case, the, the Wacom, it says duplicate this, these displays. That's exactly what I don't want. So I simply go to extend these displays and what do we have here? Let's go back to OBS. What do we have here? Is that my tablet shows exactly the same image as I have in my laptop's display, but it shows an empty desk. Why? Because now my tablet is an extension of the display of my laptop. So what we need to do here now is we change, we come to OBS sorry, we come to OBS and display we're going to pick, we had the primary monitor and now we're going to pick there we go. We are going to, it's going to show it's going to show the screen of my tablet. So what do I do now? I already installed this application that I like a lot already that I found by, by, by chance, um, called Krita or Krita, however you want to pronounce it. And why am I talking about this software in particular is because during my search for programs, I found out that most of the programs that you use like Adobe, 
in all of the variety of software that Adobe has to offer, uh, Photoshop and all that, they are not necessarily cheap. And um, a lot of people who want to get into digital drawing might be a bit discouraged by that. So what did I do? Oh, and the other thing is I talk when I uh, got this tablet, I talk about the fact that it comes with a bundle that once you register your tablet online in the website of the Wacom company, it says that it comes with free software, a bundle of free software. And that's right, but at the same time, not very true in the aspect that yes, they are free. Most of the programs are free, but only for three months, the first three months, three months, I mean. And after that, you have to pay for them and they are not necessarily cheap either. So, because I only want this tablet to draw, I found Krita and I, I've been exploring it a little. I've been working a little in this uh, program and I found out that is a very, very reliable and very, very nice uh, piece of software and it deserves our attention. Also, because it's free, it's uh, constantly being updated by the by users and by um, by the company that that makes it. But also, it requires collaboration every now and then. So, if you are if you happen to use Krita, consider eventually every now and then do a little donation to the website. It I think it's worth it in order for it to to continue being free. Anyway, we go here. We have Krita. I'm going to take my mouse off and right now my mouse traveled into my actual monitor, my, my, my display, my computer. And now we go to file. We can either uh, choose a new file here or we can use the menu over here. Okay. Something that I like about this tablet very much is that it doesn't matter if I have my hand on the, on the screen the tablet won't respond to that. It will only respond to my pen. Okay. So we see that here we have recent documents. This is one that I uh, used in my, that I um, made and I uh, posted on my YouTube community tab in my channel. And we can see that we have here a lot of features. If you look into your um, into the right side of your screen, you're going to see that you have a lot of options here uh, on the cursors. You have erasers, you have spray painting, you have markers, you have pens, you have ball pens, you have brushes. Uh, you have ink pens, whatever you can think. Okay, you have uh, rolling pins or whatever these are. These are called and spray painting. You can have as many tools as styles you can think of, and they are all very nice and compatible. You can even mimic uh, oil painting, uh, watercolors, etc., etc., etc. My original idea was to make a video of me making a drawing on Krita, showing just the display the way it is right now. But I decided to go a step farther because I just noticed, I mean, not just noticed, but a couple of hours ago, I was checking on YouTube and I found out that this program in particular has a very interesting feature. And that feature is we go to settings, we go to Dockers and we're going to find out all these options here. Okay. And the one that we are uh, uh, looking for is this one called Recorder. I can either. And what does this do? The recorder that we can see in this side of the screen, it will 
capture your traces and whatever you do in your uh, in the drawing that you are making and it will record it just the area of work so when you see the result it shows the entire interval since you started painting until the painting is finished or drawing or whatever and it will show you show it in a clean white slate without showing the interface of the program okay and it will ignore also the times where you lift your pen and you uh, uh, put it in again it's good it's just gonna show it's gonna record the motions and everything so it's gonna be a very efficient way of, of showing your how did you how did you do your your work here okay so this is basically what I wanted to tell you guys and girls about this um, about this program, about uh, a little more about what I found out about the tablet itself and how easy really it is to work in it. You just have to stop being afraid of trying something new. I, for one, I am very excited about this. I am very happy using it. You can tell that it's very um, cozy to use. I mean, I've been able to do a few things that I could never do on paper with my style i personally enjoy working with uh, bl uh black and white and just uh, uh carbon and pens i am not very into painting per se and i found out here that it's with the help of combining diverse techniques you can create some really nice and really interesting results okay so hang in there and we are gonna come back with the second part of the video.